everyone. I'm Emily Rapp, Product Manager, Google Cloud on BigQuery. And I'm going to talk to you today about analytics in a multi-cloud world. So let's talk data. By the year 2025, there's going to be 175 zettabytes of data in the world. That's 21 zeros. Where's all that data coming from? You have the more traditional data, the server logs, ad logs, cat videos. Then we've had the growth of new types of retail data. It's not just transactions in stores anymore. And then we're getting to the kind of even crazier side with IoT, manufacturing lines, even washing machines are connected to the internet. We have all of this data that's available. And I mean, I can't count how many articles I read that say, how do you make data-driven decisions? But it's really hard. And this is a pain that I've actually felt personally. Before I joined cloud, I worked in the ads and media measurement world. And one of the biggest challenges that we had was trying to help our customers understand what does my advertising campaign and media look like, not just on one channel, but across every channel. There's a few reasons for why these silos exist, but at its core, we can think of division and fragmentation. So division, you have organizational separation. It's there's IT departments, there's a central data department, and then you have every single business unit underneath that. And then what that leads to is this fragmentation. You have a bunch of different data sources, all of which come in different types, different tools, different services, different logins, and there's no consistency. And that consistency problem, that fragmentation, it's more than just within a single environment. The world is becoming multi-cloud, and really the world is multi-cloud. Gartner survey showed that more than 80% of their respondents said that their companies were using more than one cloud provider. Honestly, that's probably closer to 100%. We wanna solve for that data problem. So we're introducing BigQuery Omni. It's a flexible multi-cloud analytic solution so you can analyze data across clouds without leaving your familiar BigQuery user interface or without having to deal with a bunch of different types of query engines that are all hooked up to one platform. Let's get started with BigQuery Omni. In the BigQuery UI on Google Cloud, Choose the public cloud region where your data is located and run your query. The same query you would use to work with data that's stored on GCP. The query is passed to the other public cloud and all of the compute is done within that public cloud region. The results are returned to the BigQuery UI or you can choose to export the results directly back to your data storage on that public cloud, which means there is no cross-cloud movement of results or data. You can start using BigQuery Omni right away. There's no need to do any formatting or transformation of your data. BigQuery Omni supports formats such as Avro, CSV, JSON, ORC, and Parquet. You also don't need to move or copy your raw data out of the other public cloud, do any cluster management, or provision any resources. All computation occurs within BigQuery's multi-tenant service, which is running on the region where the data is currently located. Behind the scenes, BigQuery's query engine is running on our Anthos clusters within the BigQuery managed service. We get the data from data storage within your account only once you've authorized permissions via your other public cloud's IAM roles. Those roles are tied to a BigQuery Omni connection object. You can change, grant, or revoke access at any time, and the connection object can be shared to multiple users within that same project. We maintain a secure connection to bring your query results back to Google Cloud. Welcome to BigQuery Omni. BigQuery Omni is now in alpha, and it's powered by Anthos, so you don't have to move or copy data to query it. So let's first take a look and see how does this actually work. BigQuery Omni lets you analyze data in public clouds. This means that we actually bring the power of the analytics directly to your data. No need to do any movement or copies or deal with managing a bunch of different types of query engines or data platforms. You have a consistent experience. Whether you access via Looker or access via the BigQuery UI, it's the same standard SQL, the same way of interacting with your data, regardless of what silo that data was in. And this is all possible because of a Google Cloud technology, Anthos. Anthos is a development platform that lets you build applications in any cloud, 
with a centralized point of management. Because we as BigQuery are customers of Anthos, we're able to work on analyzing your data where it is without doing any cross-cloud copy because we have the power of Anthos. So let's take a look under the hood and see how it all really works. When you use BigQuery, you can use the BigQuery UI, the API, or the CLI. And all of this, the control plane and the metadata, lives on Google Cloud. One of the core tenets of BigQuery is the separation of compute and storage. So when you have the case of a query that's running from data that's on GCP, we have our data engine, also known as Dremel, running on GCP, and it's querying separately the storage of the data that you have either in BigQuery storage or other Google Cloud storage. But now let's switch over to what happens when your data is on AWS. So we use those same BigQuery routers, but instead of going to GCP or trying to move or copy any of that raw data, we actually have a secure connection between Google Cloud and the AWS region where your data is stored. The BigQuery data engine is now running on Anthos clusters. One key thing here, these clusters are fully managed by Google Cloud. This is not something that you need to have an Anthos subscription for. It just happens to be that we at Google like to use our own technology. The compute runs, and what it's doing now is it's actually connecting to your S3 data. This is really important because we want to make sure that you don't have to worry about changes to IAM. We use the standard AWS APIs, the standard AWS IAM permissions, and you maintain ultimate control over what happens with the query execution as well as the query results. In the case where you choose to return the query results back to Google Cloud, we use that same secure transmission to make sure that all data is passed securely, not only within a single region, but cross cloud. So let's talk about now how you can actually use BigQuery Omni to make those data-driven decisions. Starting with a marketing analyst use case, what impact does advertising behavior and advertising spend have on our sales? This sounds like a question that should be pretty straightforward. Oh, well, just build a dashboard. The thing is, it's actually crazy hard to have a dashboard with KPIs or measures of success that come from a bunch of different sources. So with BigQuery Omni, we're going to use that power of visualization for cross-cloud insights and have our Looker dashboard, which is pulling in data from GCP, your marketing side, and your sales side, which lives on AWS. So now let's go to the data engineer side. When you have petabytes of data that can be in multiple clouds, if you want to make sure that your customers, the analysts and data science working at your company, are able to use the same tool and the same query engine to work with their data, you have to run thousands of daily jobs to process those logs and build your cross-cloud ETL pipelines. And when those pipelines break, you might even have a case where instead of fixing them, you actually just hire a room of consultants who sit there and answer those questions. So now with BigQuery Omni, you can optimize those existing workloads, replace those thousands of pipelines with one, two, maybe three BigQuery Omni queries. Now let's go to the data scientist. It's one thing to have a great dashboard where you can visualize your data. It's another to have a huge amount of processing power at your disposal. But the reality is we really just need to use data to make smarter decisions about our business. So with BigQuery Omni, let's actually activate that cross-cloud data story. If you just use one cloud and you have, say, Google Analytics 360 data, when you're marketing campaigns, you're limited to the data that you have, either about your site or your existing campaigns you're not able to take advantage of the fact that you have petabytes of data that is coming from your apps. And those apps, behind the scenes, right, those apps are just customers. And they're similar, likely, to new customers that you could be reaching. So with BigQuery Omni, run a simple query, export the data, and you can generate a list of anonymized IDs that now could be used in any marketing platform campaign. Let's talk about using Looker with BigQuery Omni. We've created a dashboard which allows our stakeholders to get a holistic view of the business. 
and look at not only data from our first party rewards program and retail orders, but also get a cross cloud view by combining that first party data with data about our customers from Google Analytics. And that's actually coming from BigQuery on Google Cloud. This dashboard can also be used by our marketing department. Behind the scenes of the dashboard is a LocalML model. The data is coming for a BigQuery project, and these views are powered by BigQuery Omni. All analytics is running directly on the AWS region where the S3 data is stored. To make it easier for our end users, we've added the ability to look at order of the day by string instead of number, as well as added this category of department. Our marketers are able to use this dashboard to plan their non-food marketing plan, looking only at purchasers of household and personal care items. For both categories, we'll be running a campaign that's focused on reaching audience similar to our rewards members. But as we observe, unlike household, personal care has a larger percentage of first purchasers. This means that we should also run a personal care goods promotion for our existing customers. Let's recap. With BigQuery Omni, we can solve that problem. Let's take those zettabytes of data and actually make sure that we're telling the right story. We have a flexible multi-cloud solution, but really what that means is that you can use the same experience, same UI, same queries, same standard SQL, and not worry about where is it actually running behind the scenes. But because we bring compute to your data, not only do you not have to worry about what does it mean to bring raw data across clouds, you have the security that you need to trust that what is happening with my data is always under my control. So we'd love for you to be part of this journey with us. I wanna hear your story. What is that story that you wanna tell? Can we transform your strategy? Or can we just say like, hey, I have a business problem. Let's figure out how to solve it together. Please fill out our customer interest form and we'll be in touch. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs>